welcome to this third and final screencast on the person-centred counselling approach of David Rennie, which this time looks at the role of visualisation. The aim of this short talk is to describe Rennie's two categories of visualisation, concrete and symbolic, and show how we can use these to deepen the exploration of client material during a session. As usual, these ideas come from David Rennie's book, Person-Centred Counselling, An Experiential Approach, published by Sage in 1998. The basic idea of visualisation is that while the client's speaking and telling their story, inevitably pictures and images will form in the counsellor's mind in response to what the client is saying. In other words, the client is evoking in the counsellor visual imagery. And Rennie's belief is that we can help the client to deepen their exploration of their own material by uh, telling the client about the imagery that we are experiencing as counsellors. Rennie says there are two types of imagery. The first is concrete. This involves visualising the scene narrated by the client. So the imagery that comes to mind is that imagery which is evoked whilst the client tells their story. The second type is symbolic imagery. It can be an image or a verbal expression and it captures the essence of something complex that the client's saying. It's a metaphor which sums up, which highlights, which captures the meaning of what the client is saying. And as with concrete imagery, if this is shared with the client, it can encourage a deeper exploration of the material. If you remember, Rennie talks about two types of exploration. There is horizontal development in which we encourage the client to tell us the facts of their story by using reflection and by using paraphrasing and other skills. But also we can keep the client on track by encouraging them to go into some vertical development which involves them exploring deeper the emotions associated with the narrative that they're telling. So Rennie says that the utilisation of imagery, those pictures and images and scenes that are evoked in the counsellor, has an effect of heightening the client's recall of an event. It does seem that visual imagery uh, evokes memory much more than verbal uh, language does. Rennie says it halts the client's horizontal flow and instead stimulates a vertical descent into an aspect of their experience. Let me give you one or two examples. The first is an example of concrete imagery. As your client describes his school experience, perhaps being scolded as a boy, you imagine him as that little boy being scolded and the feelings that are associated with that experience. And Rennie's argument is that if we can um, tell the client about this imagery, it will enable the client to stay with that experience a little longer, explore the feelings a little deeper and have a much more profound uh, um, insight into their feelings around the, the scene as a result of our exploration, our sharing of the imagery. The second example is around symbolic imagery. The client tells you about a time when she was clinically depressed and it invokes in you a real sense of a trapped animal, an animal caught in a trap with no escape. And again, reporting this to the client can be a jumping off point for a greater, uh, more meaningful exploration 
of what it was like to be clinically depressed. And then something interesting, um, Rennie talks about verbal metaphors. These are often cliches, hackneyed phrases that are used every day in the language, and yet they can have some real powerful meaning for the client. And so we shouldn't shy away from using language which perhaps seems uh, a little um, hackneyed, uh, a little cliched, but nevertheless it can have great meaning for the client. Rennie says we need to appraise when we're going to use this kind of approach because it could be that the imagery evoked in us, the counsellor, uh, actually relates to our own material and we need to be careful not to project that onto the client. But essentially we can deepen a client's exploration of their experience by paying attention to the visual imagery and metaphors invoked in us. And if we can share that imagery sensitively with the client, that can lead to a deeper, greater, more fruitful exploration of the experience, holding the client in that experience and helping them to stay with the feelings and therefore make sense out of what happened. Thanks very much.